If you know you want to buy a home and you know you need a plan, but you're not sure where to start, well, you've come to the right place. In this series, I'm teaching you everything you need to know about buying a home in Southern California. This series is broken up into three main categories. Number one, where to find the money, where I'll discuss what you need in order to apply for a home loan. Number two, how to find the home. And number three, how to negotiate the purchase. In this particular video, I'm talking about credit. Credit is one of three factors that a loan officer will consider when looking at your application for a home loan. The other two factors are gonna be income and down payment. I'm Melissa Urena, Long Beach local and SoCal realtor. Make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the videos in this series. And hey, if halfway through this video you think to yourself, I would like to chat with Melissa one-on-one -on -one about my unique situation, all you have to do is head over to the description, click on the first link, and book a free consultation with me. Let's get started. What is credit? Let's break it down in the simplest terms. Credit is a history of how you have behaved when creditors have lent you money. Your credit history is given a numerical value known as your FICO score. And your FICO score is composed of that history of how you behaved when you borrowed credit, including how much did you borrow? Did you pay it back? Did you pay it back in time? Did you pay it back in full? And all of those things will give you a FICO score. So what are the requirements? What kind of credit do you need in order to apply for a home loan? Well, that depends on the loan type and your particular situation, whether you're a first time home buyer or a repeat buyer. Here's a breakdown of what's considered poor, average, and good credit scores. Typically speaking, if you're going after a conventional loan, you wanna be over here in the good category, definitely above 700. If you're a first time home buyer or using an FHA loan, hey, there's some lenders out there that will do FHA loans with credit scores in the mid to high 500s. However, I recommend having a credit score of at least 640 so that you can get better rates and terms. In the high interest rate era that we're in right now, the higher your credit score, the better your interest rate. And you want that because a low interest rate will help lower your monthly payment. So how do you know what your FICO score is? You can use apps like Karma, for example, to get a rough idea. It's important to note that the loan officer will pull their own reports from the three reporting bureaus, which are these. Another thing that you can do to monitor your credit score is to pull a copy of your credit report annually. You're entitled to one copy of your credit report free of charge each year, and I've provided the website where you can get that in the description below. Go ahead and click on that link for your free credit report. That will help you monitor where you are. How to improve your credit score. Make sure you have a healthy balance of debt. Never overextend yourself. If you have credit cards, don't max them out. You want to keep the balance on those under 30%. And of course, make your payments on time. Another thing that counts is the length of credit history, how long you've had those accounts and have kept up with them on a timely manner. For more tips on increasing your credit score, I have a download for you. Go to the description and click on the link to download those. Now, if you have some collections and some other things in your credit that you want to be able to work through, I don't necessarily recommend going with one of those expensive credit repair companies. Most people don't know this, but a good loan officer, someone who's willing to be your partner through the home ownership journey, can take a look at your credit report for you and give you actionable items of things that you can do to improve your score. And they will do this completely free of charge. If you need some names, some good loan officers, to reach out to, just let me know and I'm happy to provide that for you. How to build credit. What happens if you have no credit at all? 
you've never taken out a loan, you don't have a credit card, you don't have a car payment, any of these factors, then what happens is you have no credit history. And with no credit history, a loan officer is not necessarily going to know how you've behaved when people have lent you money. And so that will be a problem. You want to make sure to build your credit before you apply for a home loan. Uh, two easy ways to do this is number one, apply for a secured credit card. All you have to do is go to your bank or your credit union, wherever you bank and ask them, say, I want to apply for a secured credit card. How do I do that? Another thing you can do is have someone you trust, a family member, a close friend who has a long good credit history add you to one of their accounts when they add you as an authorized user to one of their, those accounts then that credit history becomes yours so you do want to make sure that it's good credit history too here are some frequently asked questions about credit can i buy a home with student loans can i buy a home if i have a car payment can i have a home if i'm if i have debt and the answer is yes Having debt or credit does not prevent you from having a home loan. What matters is that you have a healthy balance of the credit that you're carrying. Should I pay off all my debt before I buy a home? It is not necessary to pay off all your debt before you buy a home. And as a matter of fact, I don't recommend that strategy. Speak to a loan officer first and have them tell you if it's necessary to pay down or pay off some of the accounts you have. You may not need to at all. And if you don't need to, then it's best to keep that money for your down payment instead of paying off debt that wasn't an issue to begin with. Should I close my credit accounts? No. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but even if you pay them off, you want to keep those credit lines open. Closing credit lines can actually hurt your score. That about does it for credit. Make sure to tune in next week when we talk about down payments.